Hi friends, this is Ashley with Experienced Mommy. Today I'm going to be showing you the Tush Baby Hip Seat Baby Carrier. Now this carrier is a little bit different than a standard baby carrier that you're probably used to. This isn't something that you put over your shoulders and around your waist and strap baby into to carry them around. This carrier is specifically designed to be able to put around your waist and carry baby on your hip. This kind of carrier is good for children that maybe don't like the confinements of a standard baby carrier but still want to be held, or for maybe an older toddler who doesn't necessarily need to be carried around in a baby carrier all the time, but does like to be picked up and carried from time to time. I'm going to show you how to put it on. It's a very simple process. This is what the Tush Baby looks like. You can put it on either hip. There's a thick waistband that straps on with Velcro. And there's also an adjustable strap with a buckle for some additional security. And that's it. That's how easy it is to set up the Tush Baby hip seat. Now one thing that's very important to remember with the Tush Baby is that this is not a hands-free carrier. Like I said, this is not your standard baby carrier that you strap baby into and then you can walk around and do other things like doing yard work or working around the house or grocery shopping. This is a carrier that you will need to keep a hand or an arm around your child at all times. There is an anti-slip grip patch on the seat to help keep your baby from sliding off, but it is still very easy for them to tip over and fall. So you want to make sure that you use your hand or your arm for that additional security for your child. A lot of the carrier is made up of polyester, so it's not going to be the softest fabric that you're going to find. I wouldn't say it's rough, but it's really not very soft. However, I don't really find that to be an issue because unlike most baby carriers, this isn't going to be around your child's face or other sensitive areas of skin. It's mostly going to be something that they're just sitting on. There is some foam in the seat, so it does provide some good cushion for the seat so that your baby has a comfortable place to sit. The thick strap of the Tush Baby is really good for back support for the parents or adults wearing it. You can see that it is pretty thick in the back, so it does provide some good lumbar support. Now with the hip carrier, you are of course going to notice some pressure on your hip when you have a child sitting on the seat. You will feel a little bit of pull. However, because of how well balanced the straps are and how thick they are, I never have felt like the pressure was too excessive or uncomfortable. Something that's really nice about the Tush Baby is that even though it is a hip carrier, the hip is not the only way that you can carry your baby with this particular carrier. Something that's nice about the Tush Baby is that even though it is designed to be a hip carrier, it actually offers four different kinds of holds that you can use for your baby, not just a hip carrier. Now, the main carrier that you are probably going to be using the most is going to be sitting your child on your hip. They sit on your hip, facing inward towards you, and of course you keep your arm supporting them at all times. Another carrier that you can use by sliding the seat to the front is an outward facing hold. Your baby just sits on the seat and is able to look forward. This is a nice carry if you're doing something like watching a parade or a fireworks show or you're stopping to look at something where baby may want to be able to take a rest um, and you're not going to be moving around as much. Something else that's really nice about the Tush Baby is that you can start using it with children as little as eight pounds. So one of the other holds is resting your child's bottom on the seat portion, supporting their head and neck, and this is the feeding hold. Then when it's time to burp, sit baby on the seat facing you and you can burp them. Something else that's really nice about the Tush Baby is that if you're taking it with you, you don't necessarily have to bring a diaper bag wherever you're going. The Tush Baby has several pockets. So if you're just gonna be gone for a few hours and wanting to take some supplies with you like diapers, wipes, things like that, this can carry all of it. The main pocket is actually in the seat of the Tush Baby. It's a zipper pocket. I was able to fit some diapers in here. You can also fit things like wipes, maybe even an outfit if you fold it up small. This is definitely the biggest pocket. Also on the front, there's another smaller pocket. It's secured with a button. This is a good pocket for things like keys or your cell phone, things that you don't necessarily want to um, have fall out. The next pocket is in the front. 
This is a mesh pocket that's actually the perfect size for something like a cell phone. So if you're wanting to keep it close, but not necessarily wanting to keep it in your pants pocket, this is a great option. The last pockets are in the back. This pocket is specifically designed to be able to hold a bottle or maybe even a sippy cup. And then the last one is another pouch pocket that you can unzip and it's big enough to hold something like snacks, pacifiers, things like that. I really like that the Tush Baby offers this option because I don't have to worry about taking a diaper bag with me if I'm not going to be gone for a very long time. This isn't necessarily something I would recommend as your only piece of luggage if you're going to be gone overnight or something like that, but it does offer you the uh, availability to be able to leave your diaper bag at home. Another pro to the Tush Baby Hipsy is that it has a wide range of child sizes that it can accommodate. Like I said, you can start using this carrier on your little one as little as eight pounds if you're using the feeding or the burping holds, but it can also hold children up to 45 pounds. This is a great range and it's going to last your child well into their toddlerhood. I really like this because my 18 month old can use it, but my four year old can also use it. Now the Tush Baby isn't necessarily a carrier that I would recommend taking on a walk or a long hike, something like that. I don't think it's specifically designed for walking long distances, but this is a great option for something like visiting a theme park, visiting a zoo, someplace where you are going to be walking, but there is going to be a lot of starting and stopping in the areas where your children may want to take a break or be carried for a little while. The Tush Baby costs around $100. Sometimes you can get it on sale. And generally, I'm not the type of person that likes to spend that much on products. But for the Tush Baby, I'm willing to make the exception because it is such a versatile carrier. Again, my 18-month-old and my 4-year-old can both use this baby carrier. I don't have to bring my diaper bag with me if I'm just going to be gone for a little while because I can take everything I need in the pockets. It's a very handy carrier. It's very comfortable. There's good back support. It's, it's really a win-win as far as I'm concerned. The Tush Baby is a great carrier as long as you know what to expect when you get it. Again, don't expect that this is going to be a carrier that you can strap baby into and go about doing things with both of your hands. You're not going to be able to go grocery shopping with this carrier and push the cart and put things in into the cart while you're holding your baby. You are going to have to keep an arm around your child at all times. But as long as you know that this is a carrier that you are going to um, still be holding on to your child with, I definitely think it's worth the investment. I think it is a great carrier. It's going to last your child well into their toddler years, and I don't think you're gonna be disappointed if you purchase the Tush Baby. Thanks.